to do a little yoga session for the respiratory system. As you know right now we're going through this crisis with COVID-19 and um, it's a disease that attacks the lungs and it helps to have healthy strong lungs in case we encounter this disease ourselves or uh, to help fight it off to help survive if we get the worst case of it. So, uh, just a little quick overview of how the respiratory system works. We have two main muscle groups. The first is the diaphragm, which you've probably heard of. It's a muscle that it is, when we're exhaled, it's in this position. It's kind of its resting position as a shape like this, pressing up into our lungs. And then as we inhale, we uh, engage the muscles to draw it down and that expands our thoracic cavity to make room for the breath to come in. It also affects the barometric pressure in the lungs which is what allows the gas of air to come into the lungs. Uh, high pressure to low pressure. As we exhale we increase pressure so then the high pressure is in our lungs, the low pressure is outside and um, that's a little too technical probably. <laughs> but so we're going to work on diaphragm muscle which is pretty strong for most of us already. It's doing most of the work day to day. And then between all of our ribs, we have our intercostal muscles, which weave the ribs together. And they also work, there's three sets of them that work to inhale and exhale, expand and contract the, the ribs and the thoracic cavity. Our day to day breath is called quiet breathing. And that's what we're doing when we're not really thinking about breathing. We're just going about our day. Um, and at night when we're sleeping, it's just those two muscle groups working together to create breath for us. And in times of uh, stress, such as exercise, high metabolism exercise, or if we're having something like asthma or uh, respiratory illness like COVID-19, our system can recruit some other muscles to help out. And the, these two main groups are our sternocleidomastoid muscles, which go from sternum clado, which is the clavicle. They go from this place on the front of our chest up into the mastoid process behind our ears, this little bony protrusion on their skull. And you've probably seen these muscles when people strain their neck. Um, and so that's the one that can help lift and expand the front of our chest. And then in the back we have our scalenes, which is three sets of muscles and they attach to the top two ribs in the back and help us inhale and exhale and expand and contract there. So these are all muscles we're going to be working with today, stretching, strengthening, and um, improving our ability to withstand these times. On to the asana part of the practice. Go ahead and Come on to all fours. We'll do some cat cow warming up. So you know this one. You can start by just circling. I like to circle my shoulders over my wrists to warm up the wrists a little. And then you can move your hips around. Do a little bit of spinal warming up. And just be free and kind of uh, go both ways. For those of you that like to go both ways. It's good to go both ways sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then once you feel nice and warmed up, say hi to your kitty. Come back, inhale. So this is cow shape. Lifting the tailbone, lifting the chin and the head. Exhale, round the spine, gaze towards the belly, cat shape. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, we're going to walk our hands forward to the fingertips. 
And then move your seat back towards your heels, but don't come all the way down. You want to feel some traction through your spine here. Bring your forehead down. And stretch. You might feel those intercostal muscles stretching a bit here. As we create traction through the spine, we also can feel it through our ribs. And then walk over to your right, stretch your left side body. And then come up and walk over to the left and stretch your right side body. back to center, walk your hands back under your shoulders, tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your knees, press ribs back towards the thighs and then extend legs downward facing dog. So you want to form a pyramid shape here. You can lift your sits bones, lift your armpits away from the floor, outwardly rotate your arms, upper arms. And then draw your ribs towards your belly and then stretch, lift, pranayama, ujjayi pranayama. So you want to take a deep breath through your nose, exhale through your nose, oceanic breath sound, inhale, exhale, pardon me if I'm showing a little too much flesh here. Okay, now we're going to start to walk our feet in towards the wrists, towards the top of your mat. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold, grab your opposite elbows. Since we're just getting started, you can keep your knees a little bit soft. Let your head be like a weight so that it's lengthening your spine down. Kind of twist side to side. Feel a little bit of intercostal stretching there. And then remain like this. If you have the flexibility, you can place your hands down in front of your feet. Engage your quadriceps. Lengthen your hamstrings and fold forward, pressing your thigh bones back. Ujjayi breathing, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now stay facing the front of your mat. I'm going to turn towards you so you can see this from the side, from the front. You're going to walk your feet as wide as your mat, turn your toes out slightly, and come into a squat. Prayer hands to heart. I'm going to press your forearms down and lift the top of your head up. Feel lengthening through your spine. Mm. Opening of the hips. I like to do a little rock side to side here. Mm. Now if, you're, if this is hard for you and your heels are up, you can place a blanket under your heels or you can sit on a block if you have a block. A stack of books, Gideon's Bible, dictionary, <laughs> a few encyclopedias, and you can engage Mula Bandha and draw some of that wisdom up through your body towards the top of your head into your brain. <laughs> Results may vary. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the block out because I like to get a little lower. We're going to do a little twist here. So you bring your left arm in front of your left shin, not over the top, in front. Right arm reaches up. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Lengthen. Switch sides. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Alright, from Malasana, we're going to reach both arms up, long spine. Inhale as we come up, bend your elbows to cactus arm, draw your elbows forward, lean back, lift your sternum, chin towards your throat. Exhale, come back down, reaching your arms up. Inhale, come up, back bend. Exhale, lower down. One more time, coming up, inhale, cactus arms, heart opening. Exhale, prayer hands to your heart, walk your feet together. Take a breath in through your nose, gently bow your head. Chant one ohm with me, ohm from home, breathing in. Om. Release your arms by your side. Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Lean to the right. Stretching the left side body, intercostal muscles. Inhale up, switch hands. Exhale to the left, stretching the right side body, intercostal muscles. <laughs> Inhale up, reach up. Exhale, release. Same thing again with some variations, ready? Inhale, reach up. Right hand grabs the left. Lean to the right. This time we're going to turn our ribs down, stretching the back side of the ribs. And then inhale, turn our ribs up, stretching the front. So you can do that a couple times, down to stretch the back, up to stretch the front. Inhale, reach up, switch hands, exhale, hmm. inhale, exhale, turn down. Inhale, turn up. Exhale, turn down. Inhale, turn up. Exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, release. All right, sternum cladal cladoi. Sternum cladal mastoid. Sternum cladal mastoid stretch. Dun, dun, dun. So next. So next, sternocleidomastoid, stretch, dun 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 dun. Mm. Turn your head to the right. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach your right arm up and over, grab your grape. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, drop your left shoulder towards the earth. Relax into this nice stretch. Always bothers me when yoga teachers talk like that. Stretch your sternocleidomastoid. Inhale, come back up, release. Turn the other way, drop your ear. Reach, reach up and over. Mm, stretch, drop right shoulder. Ooh, you can feel that just from here to here. Creates so much more experience in the neck. Inhale, come up. All right, another variation. We're going to go for the scalenes now. Turning your chin to the right. Drop your ear, reach up and over. Grab your grape. This time, chin turns up. Shoulder drops. And you'll feel it in a little different places on your neck. Might be a little uncomfortable if you don't stretch your neck reg regularly. It certainly makes talking harder. <laughs> Talking's not my strong point anyway. Come back up. Mm. 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 So 
So we're doing the other side. You didn't hear my voice because I was demonstrating not talking, but now I'm realizing that you're on a video and maybe you're not able to look at me. You're probably able to look at me right now. I'll remember to talk through the rest of this practice for you. I'll practice talking, you practice yoga. Inhale, come back up. And then just roll your head a few times in each direction. Releasing some of that strain. Alright, now that was stretching. There's also some isometric ways to work the neck muscles. Isometric means that it appears we're not moving our we're using uh, pressure from one side and pressure from another side to create the um, exertion in the neck muscles. So I'll just demonstrate. You're going to bring your left hand to the left side of your head. And so you're pressing your skull this way, you're pressing your arm this way, and it will activate these muscles in the side of your neck. All right? Try the other side. Ooh. Head this way, arm that way. Hmm. All right, for the back, we're going to interlace our hands behind the head. Lift our chin parallel to the floor and press our skull towards the back of the room. If you want, you can open your arms up and get a little bit of a nice back bend here too. Nice chest opening, heart opening. And then, for the front side, I'll turn this way so you can see. I'm going to do my Homer Simpson. Oh! Press my forehead this way, my hand that way. I'm feeling this on the back and the front of my neck. Maybe you feel that too. Alright, release. So that's isometrics. We're going to do a little more of that later. Come to the front of your mat, Tadasana. If your neck is sticking out, draw your chin back into your throat. Shoulders, hips, knees in alignment. Thighs press back, shins to the sides. Engage your glutes. Draw your lower ribs towards your belly. Shoulder blades gently back. Bend your knees, reach up. With Katasana. Chair pose. Exhale, fold over. Uttanas. Inhale, halfway up. Press your thigh bones back. Exhale, bend knees, hands down. You can jump or step to plank. If you have trouble in this pose in Chaturanga, you can drop your knees or keep them lifted. Shoulders forward, bend the elbows through Chaturanga to the floor. Shrug your shoulders, lift the head of the arm bones. Elbows bent to the sides as you start to press into your hands, then draw the elbows towards your ribs, shoulder blades onto the back, chin towards your throat. Lift up, tuck toes, seat back to heels. See if you can extend your legs and not move your torso forward. Down dog. Five breaths, breathing in. Armpits lift away from the earth. Upper arms rotate outward, exhale. Lower ribs towards belly. Inhale, lift sits bones. Exhale, press heels down. Inhale, breathe. Pranayama Ujjayi. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, soften knees, gaze forward. You can walk or float to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway. Ardha Chandras, Ardha, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend your knees, reach up. Chair, exhale, Tadasana. From here, you're going to step your left leg to low lunge. Alright, I'm going to turn towards you so that you can see what I'm doing from the front angle. Stay as you are. Arms reach up. This is your right leg forward. You're going to grab your right wrist with your left hand and you're going to bend to the left, stretching your right side body. Intercostal stretch feels good. 
Breathe in. Exhale. Stepping back a little to make sure my foot's in the picture. <laughs> Exhale to inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, you're going to jump switch your legs. I'll show you that from the side in a minute if you're having trouble with it. Just do whatever you need to to switch your legs. Reach back up. Lunge. Shoulder blades are drawing away from the ears. Grabbing your left wrist with your right hand. You can make your chin mudra if you want to feel more yogic. I like to feel yogic. Hmm. Stretch those left side intercostals. Woo. Stretch your ribs. Expand your breathing power. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Jump switch your legs, okay. I'll show you that from the side in case you're having trouble. I do it from my fingertips just to give me a little more space. You could also use blocks, of course. So you want to get a little bit of floating action so both your feet lift away from the floor and create space to the switch. Like that. See that? There we are. So we're on the right now, right foot forward. High lunge, same thing. We're going to grab our right wrist, bend over to the left, stretching the right side, but this time inhaling, turn your ribs up like we did at that exercise earlier. Exhale, ribs down. Inhale up. Now bend your back knee and engage your left glutes. Inhale, turn your ribs up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, low lunge. We're going to jump switch. Reach up. This time let's do this right from the beginning. Bend your right knee. Engage your right glutes. Grab your left wrist. Lean to the right, stretching the left side body. Inhale, turn your ribs up. Exhale, turn your ribs down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. So we're going to walk to Prasarita. So for me, that's I'm walking to my right. So I can be facing the camera. I'm coming into a wide leg stretch with my chest and spine long. Hands under my shoulders, lengthening. From here, any variation you like. You want to engage your thighs, press your thigh bones back, hug all your leg muscles to the bones. You can grab your ankles. You can walk your hands back. Bring the top of your head down. Tripod headstand is in your practice. Go ahead. And then walk your hands back under your shoulders. Long spine, hands to hips. Lift up. And then adjust your feet. We're going to transition to Trikonasana Triangle. So turn your right foot out. Line going through the center of your right foot should intersect the arch of your left foot. Hips move to the left. Side body stays long, expanding those intercostal muscles. Reach the left arm forward, chest is turned up. Left hand outside the left leg, fingertips touch the floor. Or a block, right arm reaches up. From here, get rid of your text neck, draw your chin back towards your throat. That'll give your cervical spine the flexibility to Rotate and look up. If you have a neck injury, you can also look towards the floor or towards the camera if it comforts you to look at me. <laughs> if it comforts you to look away, look towards your left hand. <laughs> All right, from here we're going to transition to Ardha Chandrasana by 
Bring your left hand to your left hip. Just to keep it honest, you want to keep your left hip pointed up. You're going to bend your right knee where your two legs. Walk your right hand forward. Shift your weight into your right leg. So now my back foot is light. I'm lifting that back leg. My hip stays up, up, up. Straightening the right leg. Firming up those muscles. Hug your muscles to your bones and your legs. My left hand is under my left shoulder. My head's a little too close to the wall. Hopefully you're not experiencing that. <laughs> Reach your left arm up. Gaze to your left hand, same thing. Chin towards your throat so that you can get ultimate mobility in your neck. And then you can gaze to the floor to come back down, bend your right knee, land your left foot. Transition back to triangle. All right, if you have a more advanced practice and you want to try this, we're going to transition through. Notice how triangle and artist Chandrasana have the same kind of um, shape in the body. So keep your gaze up at your left hand, bend your left knee, slide your right hand forward, keep your gaze up, your hips open, lift up Ardha Chandrasana, exhale back, Trikonasana. Just slightly bending the knee to transition through Warrior Two, and then back. Ooh. And then inhale, lift up, parallel your feet, shake it out. Keep your legs wide. We're going to transition to uh, Goddess Fierce Angle Pose. Turn your feet 45 degrees so that when you bend your knees, your femur bones are lined up over the center of your feet. And then place your hands on your thighs. And you can kind of straighten your arms to create a little suspension with your pelvis kind of floating there. And then I like to do a little dance. Make a little love, get down tonight, down tonight. All right, <laughs> this is my favorite stretch, that's why I'm excited right now. And then bring your left shoulder forward, lift your right shoulder, look up over your right shoulder. And play around a little here, you can bend your elbows, really uh, find that stretch across the left upper back, left ribs in the back. I don't ever feel this much of that stretch in any other pose I do, really. I'm sure there are some, but this is my favorite. And it's a goddess pose, and I like goddesses. Back to center. Switch. Whoa. You can bend your elbows enough to bring your torso parallel to the floor and really get a twist. And then once you straighten your arms, you might feel that sensation move up your back. It's sensational. Come back to center. Reach up. Straighten your legs. Back bend. Ah. All right, ready? We're going to honor the goddess Kali by doing lion's breath, which means you're going to stick out your tongue, cross your eyes, and say, ah. But we're going to do it while we come back into that goddess pose. So it's going to look like this. Ah. Ready? Inhale up. Exhale. Ah. Inhale up. Exhale. Ah. One more time, inhale, gather all your anger and fear for the COVID, and we're going to exhale it out. <laughs> Don't do that when there's other people around you. Remember your social distancing, but at home, it's okay. All right. Okay, side two. Triangle to Ardha Chandrasana. Coming up, back into your... Wide leg stance, we're going to turn our left foot out, and remember, line through the center of the front foot, it intersects the back foot, we're going to plug our back foot down, shift our hips towards that back heel, reach our left arm forward, and then down outside, left leg. You can press your pelvis back and plug your femur bones in, and then press your hips forward. Spin your heart up and reach up with the right hand, chin towards the neck, gaze up, breathe in, exhale, exhale, breathe in, in. exhale. For the first round, we're going to look towards the floor, bend the left knee, slide the left hand forward, 
You can bring your right hand to your hip so you can keep that hip honest. Lift your right leg up, extend your left leg. And then reach up, Ardha Chandrasana, inhale. Chin towards your neck, gazing up. Exhale. Let's take another breath here, inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna transition back, bending the left knee, stepping back. Keeping that right arm lifted as you extend the left leg and come back into triangle. Inhale. Remember, we're going to explore how these shapes are similar. So we're in Uttita Trikonasana triangle. Keeping the gaze up this time at the right hand if you're up for it. Bend the left knee. Use your fingertips to feel your hand sliding forward, your right left hand. Extend your left leg as you lift your right leg up. Gaze is up the whole time. Triangle shape in a different orientation to the earth. Bending the bottom knee. Stepping back, extending the bottom leg. Triangle. And one more time. Bend the left knee. Slide the left hand forward. Lift the right leg. Alright. And then back to triangle one more time. Mm, open up, reach both arms forward, stretch the side body long, inhale, come up, exhale, drop the arms, parallel your feet. How's that feel? Dun, 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 dun. That feels good. Feels great. All right, next we are going to transition to the floor and take some load off Fanny. Alright. Take a load off Fanny. Take a load for free. You have a squat down, reach forward like this, you can counterbalance. I want to roll into a plow pose if you want to have a little fun. Ooh, who put that wall there? And then come back up. That was optional, but if you did it with me, bonus points. All right, we're going to do Navasana, a little bit of a exercise for our sternocleidomastoid. We're going to do that isometric, but we're not using our hand on our head this time. We're going to come first into this shape. Remember in Navasana boat pose, you want to not do this. You want to open across your chest, heart opening. Now it's easiest with the shins parallel to the floor. If you're one of these, you can try that too. Um, it's harder. But here we're going to lean back a little bit. I'm going to bend my shin so I can talk without straining. And then chin back towards the throat. Engage your sternocleidomastoids so that you're holding this shape. And maybe you can practice coming down. So this is an isometric stretch on the neck too, isometric exercise, not stretch. Um, so we're keeping the neck from doing this. We're using the muscles of the neck for stability. You can do some sit-ups and core muscles. So I didn't mention at the beginning, but also in extreme cases, our... Uh, Core muscles, the abs, are also coming into play with breathing. Less so than with the neck muscles, but strong core is good always. All right, ready? We're gonna do gate pose next. I'll face this way. This cat's got their hair all over my yoga mat. So we're going to start tabletop. If you want, you can do a cat and a cow. A cow and a cat. So here, I'm going to step my right foot back and spin the heel down. I'm going to kickstand my left leg back. And then, I'm going to lift up. I'm pressing my pelvis back, engaging my leg muscles so that my femur bone plugs, my tr greater trochanter plugs into my acetabellum here. 
This leg is engaged, this leg is engaged. Muscles hugging to bone. And then I'm opening my ribs, pressing my pelvis forward. Everything is engaged. Reaching the right arm up and over. All right, remember this. So this is a nice stretch for the side body, and then we can do our variations. Turning down to get to the back. Turning up, make sure you don't jet your shoulder forward. You can bend your elbow a little, plug your arm bone into your shoulder socket here, so that you're twisting to get that backward lean. We're not bringing the arm way back. The arm can be in front of your gaze. You're turning your ribs. All right. And then from here, bring your right hand to your right hip. Start to come up. I'm going to center myself a little. Now, the foot's turned this way. That's okay. Um, my hip is over my left knee. I'm going to turn this foot up. And then I'm going to lift my left arm. I know I'm not marrying you anymore, but let's just do it. And lean here. So I'm sliding my right hand down my right leg. I'm dragging my right heel back towards my left foot to engage my hamstring muscles. And I'm stretching the side of my body. Some people can put the sole of their foot down, but it's not accessible for me and a lot of people, so I'm doing this variation. Now we can also do our thing here. Intercostal variations. Maybe lean a little further. Gaze up towards your hand. Inhale, come up. Prayer hands to the heart. You can do a quicker switcheroo here if you want. We'll just bring our knees together. That other foot out. Bring the right hand down. Reach the left arm up and over. Engage your leg muscles. Press your pelvis back to plug your femur bones into your hip sockets and then press your pelvis forward. Stretch left side body. Down. Open. Ribs down and forward. Ribs up and back. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Make sure your hips over your knee. Foot can turn up. Heel drags towards pelvis or right knee. Left hand on left leg. Right arm comes up and over. Stretching right side body. Side body. Sometimes I want to talk like Terrence McKenna. If you don't know who he is, you should check him out. <laughs> That'd be funny. That's an accent I'll work on. All right, inhale, come up. All right, and then exhale, go back down. Turn your ribs down, stretch. Turn your ribs up, stretch. Down, exhale. Inhale up. Reach up, come up. Back to here. All right, one more pose for you. You remember Ustrasana, the camel? That was my Spanish version of Ustrasana. Hands in your back pockets. So here we're working on the sternocleidomastoid neck muscles, so we're not going to worry. We haven't been doing a lot of deep back bends, so don't go too crazy here. If you have a good back bend practice, you can do the full Version. Otherwise, just keep your hands on your hips. Lift up your head. Draw your chin back towards your throat. Engage those muscles on your neck. Lean back, pressing pelvis forward, lifting sternum. Keep those neck muscles engaged. So sometimes we just let our heads go here. But here we're working those neck muscles. Hmm. Because someday they might come in handy. Alright, inhale up. Make your way onto your back. I'm going to spin this way so the sun's not in my eyes. You can 
hug your knees in. Happy baby. And then recline, twist either way. Knees together. Knees to the left. Right arm to the right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Back to center, switch sides. So you can press your butt back, get a little curve in your lumbar spine, the lower spine. Plug your thigh bones into your hip sockets. Hmm. Ribs are rolling open. Life is good. And come back up. Knees into your chest. Rock and roll to sit. And we're going to do a little pranayama to close, so find a comfortable seat. Okay, our last exercise is a breathing exercise. It's called Nadi Shodhana. And we do this to increase oxygen capacity in our lungs, which in turn brings more oxygen to our brain and creates mental clarity. And this exercise also calms the parasympathetic nervous system. Now that's a scientific explanation. The yogi explanation is that we have all these energy channels, the nadis that run through our bodies. We got nadis in our bodies, you know what I say. And so these nadis, there's thousands of them. I think they say 10,000 is the estimate. Um, and that's psychic energy. Um, but there's three main ones, the Shashumna, which is in the center, Sashumna. and then the Ida, which is on your left side, and the Pinkala on the right. Now, I'm not marrying you now, but you're going to use your right hand, and you're going to take your right hand, and there's two ways you can do it. You can either have your middle and index finger pointed and place them on your forehead, or you can have them bent onto your thumb mound. But you're going to use your thumb and your <laughs> ring finger to block your alternate nostrils. So we call this uh, alternate nostril breathing is the kind of English term for it. So I'm going to start blocking my right nostril. Go ahead and do that. Take a breath in through your left nostril. As you hold that breath, change your fingers so you're blocking your left nostril. And exhale through the right. Eyes can be closed. Inhale right. Block the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Change fingers, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, spine as long as you inhale, expand, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Continue like that on your own for a few more breaths.
want to do equal on both sides as we do in our yoga practice. So finish by exhaling through your left nostril. And then release your hands. Prayer hands to heart center, gently bow your head. Take a moment of thanks and gratitude for these teachings, for your healthy bodies, for your friends, relatives, loved ones, and everyone on this planet. May we all find peace and truth, find our true dharma, and learn to create a better planet, a better, more sustainable way of living through the lessons of this time we are in. Om Namaste.